Let me know when. Okay. Now. Oh. So this one goes out to my fellow Renaissance Fair geek. Um, I saw on the Ohio Renaissance Fair Platrons page that you were looking to know how to tie a blanket cloak. And because I need to tie one for trick-or-treaters tonight anyway, um, because it's supposed to be cold, um, I thought I'd show you. Um, so all you need is your wool blanket. This is like a wool polyester thing that I got from, from Joanne Fabrics. Um, a piece of cordage. This happens to be an old black shoestring. And then about $6 worth of quarters. Or um, if you're using dollar coins, about $12 worth of dollar coins. So how you start off is either hamburger style or hot dog style, depending on if you want it longer or wider. You take the blanket and throw off the cat um, and put it over your head. Kind of funny, doesn't it? Then you take your string and a handful of your quarters. This is about a buck fifty. And you just kind of find a spot in the middle. I don't know, I'd say maybe a foot back from the edge. And you basically make a ball. And then you wrap your string around twice and you tie a knot. Um, I usually do two or three simple little twist overs. Okay. And then this will give you and then basically you do the same on the other side. And that will give you a very simple um, cloak. So, I mean, it's around me. You can add a belt. You can add another piece of cordage if you want to make it warmer. And you can basically just play with this design. If you want to make more of a hood, you simply put this knot further back. If you want less of a hood, you put the knot closer up to the front. So just to do that again and to finish off my cloak here, literally all I did was put the quarters into a part of the fabric and then you twist around the string and you'll look really goofy on camera and tie your knot. Throw back the hood. Untie your knot. And then from here, you can either take the tail of your string and kind of reinforce it by doing more loops, or you can let it hang, or you can cut it off if you like. But that's how you tie a basic blanket cloak without cutting your blanket. And I hope you stay warm tonight. Peace out.